Here is the cervical region of the vertebral column. If we zoom in at the location where the spinal cord begins, we have right over here the beginning where we would have the foramen magnum. And you can see that there is a deep fissure on the anterior of the spinal cord. And this is referred to as the median anterior fissure. And you can also see that the neurons that are exiting and entering the spinal cord are doing so on either side and exiting through the intervertebral foramina. This is how we're going to define the spinal nerves. These are rootlets, and these rootlets are going to combine to form a root, a ventral and a dorsal root. And when the dor dorsal and ventral root fuse, they become the spinal nerve. We're going to use the way the nerves are going to exit from the vertebral column as a way of naming each of these spinal nerves. And also, we're going to use the spinal nerves to divide the spinal cord into spinal segments that are going to, going to correspond to their exit points along the vertebral column. 